Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Um, today's list, we're bringing it back. The Great Sun. Uh, this is something I came up with. I'm really proud of how this deck plays. I think it's, um, I think it's a viable option. I, I'm not Green Knight or Gravish or anybody like that, man. But I think I made a decent list. I think it it could at the very least be tier two. Um, let's go through the cards because I actually built this so I can go through my thought process and everything that what what you want to do with this list so it's a hyper thin list so if you run into mill it's going to be a problem um, it, it has the double thin so you have to be careful one with your mulligans um, you want to make sure that you have proactivity in your hand that's why I got the Magni division the Nausicaa sergeants I would try to save the enforcers, especially if you're going up against a possible bleed friend, um, or if you, you know, are going to get a mirror out later on. Um, the hunting pack will automatically come out when you have Joaquin played, so if you don't have those in hand, it's not that big of a deal. But um, if you play Joaquin and your soldiers are still in, or the brigade still in the deck, that might be a problem. Um, the way I try to play it is I try to get out as much thing as I can in the first round whether that be I, I would save the Ramon especially if it's a deck you want to ble bleed But uh, if you can get out your Brigades or your hounds you want to try to do that you want to try to possibly have Joaquim in hand um, So you can get it in the graveyard of your opponent so that you can put the um, Location back in with Cantarella um, the passive, you want to make sure that you have pockets formed. Uh, another thing too, when the Magni Division is still in the deck, um, I would recommend playing everything on melee because a fawn will jump to melee. So, I mean, granted, if you, if you think like there might be like a Yurden or an Igni, it might not be worth it. But um, if you don't smell any super, like, row punish stuff... Um, it's not even that bad like with traps because you have the armor and stuff, but um, I would always try to stack on melee um, if the Magni's still in the list or in the deck and you have and you have uh, you know some Joaquim's coming up. Um, other possible bricks you want to make sure that Menno has cards. He has three pulls, either uh, battle prep, tourney joust, or coup. Um, you have to remember too that you'll see it in this game actually well in one of the games versus um, uh, Northern Realms um, if you have a mirror on the board and they play a card it becomes a spy now usually this card isn't going to get much of the C's value um, I like it mostly because if I have it in hand and I for some reason do brick something or have something I don't find useful in my hand, he has that neat little card draw ability. So if for some reason I did have a need to take a greedy mulligan, but I have a mirror in hand, I can do that because I have, you know, the ability to put one of the brigades or the hounds back in or a fawn if that happened. Um, invo can be huge, especially if you're going up against a defender if you're going up against like say full test you want to pull that back uh, into your deck um, you also too if you have a mirror on the board you can possibly get their one of their commandos and you could turn into the commando guy um, Roderick sometimes you might have to play him early if you're looking for something specific um, he's the spies in this also too play really good good against um, northern realms because you're blocking their full test you're also once they play their commandos on a specific row unless they're playing a siege ladder um they're stuck on that row so you can start filling it up with uh commandos um or filling them up with spies um that usually is pretty uh pretty good um other than that though i mean like just try to keep your pockets formed um don't like play Brathens in the middle of your soldiers and stuff like that. Play Bla Brathens to the right, uh, especially too since Usurper when you pull him, his spies come to the right, so you could play Usurper in the pocket and then everything else goes to the right. Um, I don't know. I think this list is really good. I I'm I'm really I'm really proud of it. I would love to know your guys' opinions on it. I wrote a pretty good deck guide that I put out a while ago. Um, 
it was on like Friday or something like that when I started building this, but um, I think it's good. I think it's a I think it's a tier two list. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, couple games. The first game I goofed. Um, I put the camera in the wrong spot where it is right now, uh, so you might not see the score. Uh, <laughs> I I apologize. Second game is against the Commando friend and um, they're. Uh, the great sun sticks it to him. Even though I'm playing Triss with the Northern Realm skin, so. Um, <laughs> uh, but Triss is just awesome. She's my favorite. So, um, long intro. Apologies. I just wanted to give my, you know, thought process on some of the plays and what you want to do. Um, I think this, these are a couple good highlights. Let me know what you think. Thank you for everything. You guys are wonderful. I'll see you at the end. Movement. Huh? So we want to bleed out as much as we can. We got the good coin. Hopefully, we got the tempo thins. We got two of them. That's good. Um, drop this. Oh, I guess we dropped that, huh? <laughs> Whoops, that was almost really bad. All right. So, what does he start out with? Um, honestly, is that worth a coup? Is that worth a coup? Then I can, yeah, I think it is. The next one, I could just kill it with Menno. Probably should have stacked, but so he goes a drowner that doesn't even kill it. So we go Menno, Tourney Joust, kill this. Now here comes the the double row punish. We can. It's a 50-50 here. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Miss. 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 Yes. Thank you. Right. So we go Brigade. That's beautiful. Next we go Emissary. That's really good. Really? That might be a good invo target. Alright. So this gets him ahead. Do we care? This doesn't. And it gets that proc there. That's really nice. He plays Igni. It gets Riders out. Okay. I mean, honestly, this might be a really good... This doesn't get us there. This doesn't get us there. This does, though, doesn't it? play it we drop we need this no we don't need the spy anymore yeah this is only game one so we're still up Having these are going to be really nice with uh, the frost ability. And I mean, we really didn't spend anything. We spent the coup to thin. We got all our thinning out. I'm surprised he doesn't have the... He's going to move them. 
And he's going to play Aridin. Gels into the double frost. And then he pulls out the four. Okay. I could see that. Now we get out. That's good. That's fine. We got a, we got an answer for Defender or... I'm sure he either plays Aridin or Nithral. I can see a Defender being a problem, but we have the Invo. Um, that's good. He's going to want a long round. Joachim is huge. Um... I think we keep this for the well we could play this on a dry pass right seems fine i don't think he bleeds this famous last words right all right so we got one two three four five cards we could possibly play with Joaquin, we might be able to play triple Joaquin. Usurper, I think we keep. So we have one, two, three. That should be good. Um, drop this though. We drop this. We're gonna stack anyways. Um. So the question, so. We stack front row because our Afon's going to jump to that row, and if we pull Magni, it'll go back row. So I think first we just go Sergeant. And then I can get the big boost on the Enforcer. So he goes Nogglefar into Nithral. Oh, he wants dominance. Okay. That's fine. So he's going to grab up a 13. Alright. Okay. That's fine. So he wants dominance. We're okay with it. We're going to go Ramon. We're going to grab up an enforcer. Pop him in the middle. We're going to save the charge. He still has parasite, I believe. But we're out of parasite range. There's the cave troll. We yoink that. That's good. That's our first pull with Joaquin, too. But first we use leader charges. What does he get with it? He already played Riders. So he's going to boost Oberon. That's fine. Um... Honestly, I think we just play this. Give it a boost. To play around... What's it called? I can actually coup this if he doesn't get... Uh... So he's going to play Parasite right now. Okay. So he doesn't have... He hasn't played the full... Shenanigans yet. So that's fine. Um... We already know what's on the top here. So we go... Leader. Leader. Pull this. We go Joaquin. Into Defender, and we play it back here so that this stuff lives a little bit better. And we try to kill... Well, we get one point here, and then these pop off there. So we have, it's a 50-50 if we can get that other one. If we get it, it's huge. Because we'll have three spies on the board.
Yeah, we want to kill the air, this guy. All right, so he's going to move the defender up. That's fine. And this is safe now. So I think while we have the, the points, we take it. We go here. Play this back here. We get it. Um, he might be an Erden friend, so we play it back here. Uh, we're one point short. Maybe he boosts it. We play Usurper next because it plays for an insane amount of points. <laughs> he gets it here one more time, but it eats up um, a bunch. Alright, so we kill this. Um, I don't think we care about this dominance thing. Um, but he keeps getting boosts from this, so I think we go here. We could actually, well... Yeah. We just put, um... Joaquin back in. Does he have a way to pull it? He played two Aneros, right? Pretty sure. It's a lot of frost damage, but thankfully it's not three no more. Ah. We lose one. That's fine. Uh, I think we just go here and see what he's got left in the deck. Maybe he missed something big. Nope. So we lost two points there. And the last card is Magni. Conquer for eight. Uh, so we go... Oh, he's gonna have damage, right? What if we just played your Ir Iridan? We don't have dominance. Um, yeah, we just put this back in. We play Cantarella. Get another spy. Play this. Back row. Kill Oberon. And just put this, I guess. He's got two cards left. I think if he has... You know, he can't have Yurden. He's a devotion friend. So his last card is... Osril, and it doesn't matter. Osril's a 26, or uh, 13. <laughs> Good game. Devotion versus Devotion. Super cool. Let's see what we got here. Full test turn, okay. Run the good coin. We want to try to yoink. Oh. oh, really? That's super unfortunate. So many different cards in the deck, and we brick our only thin. So we're going to play a couple cards and get out. I guess so we could play Usurp or uh, Emir if we get him. He goes Royal Guard, that's fine. No we just go back row Magnum. I think we try to find it and unbrick it. One, two, 
three, four, five. You got a one in five chance. We do have an... Uh, well, we could play the spy here. That's fine. We go front row, because that's where he wants to spawn him, apparently. Well, not necessarily. It. And we don't. Oh, that was like the worst outcome, like ever. <laughs> Two bricks. You shall know the Two theory. bricks. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that hurts. I guess we could play Joaquin. Well, we, it's not the top two cards. Oil. That's fine. What's he waiting on? Oh, so now he just plays... Uh... He wants to play Roach. So we go here. Right here. And everything's out of range now. So that maybe was dumb. Yeah, now he's gonna have to use two. He's, he he just wants to save the leader charges, is what he wanted to do. So now he plays a mauler, and we just pass and laugh because he didn't even thin anything. So he has to double leader charge. Well, no, he just has to use this. That's fine. We just pass. We're okay with it. He didn't get any other tempo down. We played Brathens, which really hurts, but... I think it was okay. So now he has to Pavetta... Play him again and get the copies going. Alright, so we need some type of soldier. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, he... So... He plays Pavetta now, right? Yes, okay. So he wants to go the full... Full shenanigans here. Because um, he wants to renew this. We can invo it at any time. So he can't. What do we want to play here? Joaquin's bad if we pull Brigade... This is our only Ramon target. Man, that hurts. So we go, so we gotta do it. it. It sucks, but we gotta do it. So he goes Natalis into AA, and he plays them. It's fine. We can... We can invo one of them. The thing is, is if he plays all these now, this is going to be like... Some big brain shenanigans here. He has to 2-0 us now if we invo this. I think we just go here. So he's going to get all his commandos out and not have any way to pavetta them. Full test. Now that's, well, that's not a big deal because we just walk him around it. And he didn't play it. So, wait. 
Leader charges first. Wait. Where's a fawn? Oh, we played it in round one. That's fine. Um, so we go here. Go back here. And I think we just start pinging full test. Because he wants to renew this, right? I guess he could just renew... Yeah, if he, if he spends all these in round one, he can't renew this. We just invo it. We got the double thin here. Yeah, you can make a bunch. You're you're clogging your own deck though. He wants to make more of these. Like that doesn't even make sense. Here you go. Now we're up. Yeah, he has to two o us. Has to. We have four pulls for... Yeah, he keeps making them. But I'm going to invo this and he's not going to be able to play them again. And his whole deck is screwed. So he's 52. Um, I think we still get our thin out first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe we play Usurper next. Ah, shit. That hurts. So he wants to put more back in? That's fine. We're still close. Like, we're still in it here. We just go cool. In here. We get another one. And we could possibly kill full test. His back rows clogged up. Next, we just invo this. If he plays another card, so he goes a Nero. He wants to get the Voimir. That's fine. It's not even that much. It's like what. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we're well, we don't get up with that. So we go here and we He thinned everything, right? Eh, not really. Oh, but we're not down to two, so... I think we just give him a bunch of junk. Give him one of these. Now he passes. And we just invo Pavetta. Right? Yep. Thank you, sir. Good luck with your commandos. <laughs> Good luck with your commandos, Renew. He got, what, three in the deck? Maybe four? Alright, I have to have... Oh, I, I guess I got... I could even put my spies back in the deck. How many we got? We got three here. We got one. So we drop this. I think this is the hand. One, two, three. Sure. Why not? Well. Okay. So we go Amir. It's fine. Okay, drop this. Menno's not even that bad. So 
So he has renew. What is he what does he renew? Voimir? This is ten. He can't renew it. Double cross into Selkirk, okay. And it has spine. Oh, so he just kills it. That's fine. I can coup that. So we just... See what we get? We go... We put Joaquin back in. We play Cantarella. We get this. It's not bad. We still got two. Like, Menno would be the best option. <laughs> ah, shit. What's the boost this up? Okay. We go here. Grab up that. So we have a Menno or Pavetta finisher. He has, re like, what does he renew? A Royal Guard? Do I just get the Selkirk? Where does he get damage from? And then I could just boost it up with Emissary? He's like, wait. I don't have Pavetta. <laughs> okay, so he does get it. He gets three of them. What do you want? Okay. So we get the Selkirk. He gets... I think he has two in there. Maybe three. Maybe has three in there, which would be 12 points. He played, did he play in oil yet? Yeah, so he doesn't have oil. He has AA left, but I nuke it with Selkirk. Okay, so that's an eight. He hits it for one. Oh! Okay then. Hit this. 36 points. Imagine renew. Imagine renew. <laughs> Baited, sir. Baited. 15 points. A Nero into... <laughs> oh, man. Strategic, huh? Good game. Good game. Hey, that's a video for today, guys. Um... Let me know what you think. Um, apologies on the first game being a little bit out of place there. Um, but uh, I really appreciate you guys. You guys are fantastic, man. Um, I'm getting a new monitor. It's on the way. Um, it's tough playing with just one monitor. I never realized how much I needed two monitors. Uh, but I really like this list. I think I did a good job making it. I think it does well against this um, full test shenanigans that's going to go on. Um, let me know what you think. Um, 
Thank you for everything. You guys are wonderful. Um, bonus game with Vesubi later on this week. Hopefully some other stuff with maybe um, the new Skellige. I'll have to see if I can link up with Wasubi to uh, record it. But um, thank you for everything. I'll see you guys next time.